Hey, I uh, just want to show you our demo for 466 final project. Who are you? Uh, right. My name is Peter Olson. Behind the camera here is Hi. Uh, we're partners in crime here. So uh, we have three main components. We have the welder and welder control system. This is getting feed from our uh, PIC32 microprocessor board. This sends the control data, which sends temperature control to this welder, uh, which will turn on for you. Uh, that takes the output and sends it up to this stainless steel wire mesh, which is our uh, the purpose of our whole project. Uh, it sends its temp the temperature of the mesh is read by our IR temperature sensor. This feeds around, comes all the way back, and this blue cable here brings it in and ties in through to the microprocessor. RS-45. Yes. Yep, we have, uh, so we have multiple serial things. Uh, the microprocessor is connected by USB to the computer uh, as a USB device. And so, when you plug the microprocessor in, you get this, oh look, USB pyrolysis reactor. Whoa. Fun stuff. Anyways, uh, just a USB serial device. Yep, USB serial okay, on the so microprocessor. Okay, so we're going to connect to it here. Oh, we're connected. Okay. Um, it shows that we're in air state right now. That is good. That means that we just powered on. Uh, we have an air flag set. We'll try to clear the air. It successfully cleared the air and moved into standby mode. We are now ready to begin the operation. So we can set what temperature we want it to go to. We're going to uh, set it to 500. Yeah, let's just set it to straight 500. That'll be the easiest. Uh, 500. Um, there's an arrow key. Yep. Peter doesn't know how to use a Mac. My bad. Okay, and, uh, heating rate, we're just going to set that to maximum. Of course. And set hold length to... 60 seconds. Um, yep, sounds good. Sure, whatever. Okay, and uh, if you... To start the reaction, you can see it just went to state run there. It's just sort of blurry. Right now we don't have the welder on because we do not have that... Flip it on. So... Yeah, the welder cannot be controlled to the microprocessor yet. You can see the temperature going up there. And it's holding at 500. Whoa. And uh, it's, right now there's nothing much to see on the mesh. But if you try touching it, you will feel it. Let's see here. We're going around to the, the actual infrared sensor. I don't know if you could read it. Oh, well. And uh, we also have safety features. I can hit the stop button here, and it will act as an emergency stop shut down. You can see the temperature spiraling, spiraling down as quickly as it can. And uh, yeah, that's the device. Um, we could also, if we had time, tell it to automatically shut down at the hold length and all that. But I think this gives a good overview. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, hopefully this has been an interesting presentation of our project. Yes, yeah, so USB paralysis reactor at work. Woohoo!